That's I love, fair. I love bookmark. I do not know of her. And I just see monkey on screen and I'm like, hell yeah, monkey. They're unactivated. Alright, perfect. You can balance out my bias then. So, I haven't played this match that much. I, I want to get some games to take a Bowser this week. Um, I couldn't even just do it at taps. But oh god. Okay, this is the third Nair. Yeah, so what like every matchup, there? Ellie will just kill you. Mm. You're to death. Especially with Hodan. Hodan just has a not very good disadvantage, so if you're getting like stuck off stage like that, um, I imagine Ellie can just like keep uh, pressuring that advantage safe. Yeah. Because it's a bit rough to get back. Hard. I don't really know much about like how neutral is in this matchup because that's always like the place where I feel yeah, like I have Ellie, no Ellie matchups really differ. <laughs> I have like, no fucking clue how Hodia you plays each other to be honest. <laughs> I don't I know guess, what Hodia does. I don't know either, honestly. I know he's got weird. He's got weird hitboxes. That's, that's all I really know yeah. about him. And like a good punish game. Speaking Ooh. of good punish game, great nice. catch. Yeah, maybe I'm not even surprised to slow. Yeah. But the uh, <laughs> overheat Ashton I'm gonna be catching. And that's. That's 60%. A lot of. Yeah, a lot of Hordan's moves are really weird to the eye. Yeah, that up air is crazy. 60% from literally just up air, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And the weird hitboxes one so Oh, good bat. Oh, no! Before I'm almost alive. Yeah. I guess you can just kind of use the up there, and you're not in free fall, so you can just uh, aerosol like that. Yeah. Oh, lots of up airs. Good DI. Good DI. Kind of lucky that they live that. Because that can be really hard to actually not get blown up on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, the neutral special with Hodian to land is actually pretty, is pretty good overall because like you can just fastball it and it's kind of beats out a lot of things. Yeah, it's a very play. annoying move to be sure. Is oh, she actually committing to the Hodon right now? I like to see that honestly. I, we need to. I want to just see more of the stupid fucking monkey. It's yeah. nobody plays these characters. You need to see what I want to see what they do. I played a lot against Hodian. When when it dropped, when workshop dropped, that was also because I had a friend who played Hodam. I think they were switching to we were playing Maple recently, but they don't play the game much anymore, uh, which sucks because they're cool. But uh, I think they just had other things going on. But yeah, yeah. Hodam's cool. Hodam's neat. Yeah, can we go on the spirit? I don't, I don't have enough matchup experience. Me neither. Again, that's why I wanna I wanna play Giga. Get the uh, mm -hmm. the teammate to teach me the matchup. Catching under the plat, that's messed up. Yeah. Ah, uh, dang, just barely missing some of these down bees. I definitely don't like the idea of using them for the uh, punishes. That's just not quite working out the way that they wanted to. Yeah, I mean, the the the, the, the down B uh, up, up B is very lethal. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Using the up spirit to combo with the bear, I guess. Ooh, but Ooh. Up air, That's a good, Yeah, I gotta DI that right, but uh, how to DI that right is a mystery to everyone. How do you DI it right? Cry. You go for a frown. <laughs> you cry. That, that is the actual answer that like academy, academy mentors give. It's really okay. funny. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, good DI from Fleshy. Uh, looking out for the side switch. That's kind of the big thing is you have to like just read whether or not they're gonna side switch you. And uh, it is very hard to get that consistent. But that <laughs> these upbeats are looking very consistent for Fleshy right now. Absolutely. Definitely want to put on more dangerous kill moves. Very important to be landing as much as you can.
Wolf form. Get the bear. Oh, here we go. Trying to reverse the edge guard. This could be pretty. Oh. Yeah, down no. B. Uh, yeah, down B, up B. Monkey flip. <laughs> that confirm have a name? I feel like it should. Yeah. Just make something random up. That's what I do. Yeah. Alright. So we're going to Rockwell. That's Bookworm's counter pick. I like it, honestly. I'm vibing with it. Yeah. And I mean, if you just if you just want to murder main kill, then this is a very good place to go. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think Bookworm is super missing out on like a lot of, like I don't think either person is living for a particularly long amount of time, so I don't think it's like the killing earlier is too pivotal, but. Yeah. Ooh. I'm missing the downbeat. You definitely, like, you have to go for them, obviously. Ooh. That oh. is. Yeah, it's a dead. Um... Yeah. Dead Ellie. That's always so funny when it gets parried. It just goes nowhere. She's trying to do something with these missiles. That's the loot. And is that guy yeah, hard out missile? That's crazy. Yeah. I don't think yeah, I've, um... I've ever seen someone die from missile that far out. Yeah. Well, if you hard out, like. Go, got the up airs. I don't know how many of them have actually led to a kill aside from this. One that led into an up strong. But they're racking up a lot of damage, and even that's be scary in a zone, right? Yeah. Wow, that's actually gonna kill. I don't know if you don't see the so get the Oh, and good, good, good awareness catching that, because, uh. Yeah. Plushy, Plushy did that before, and so just jumping up there and uh, kill him. And to be fair, you also have the top platforms that might be easy to chase that, but... I like these, like, immediate mind drops on the, the jab parries. But you kind of realize, like, okay, I'm likely not going to get a punish, but with the way Hood on jab is, I can just kind of find him yeah. and work from there. It is a very weird jab. Yeah. Oh. Even on the bad DI, right? In the the Bookworm's still living. Oh no. That's probably a dead hit on. Yeah, Missile Nair is playing out the, uh, the game. And Bookworm's going up 2 1. Let's go, Bookworm. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh damn. Crazy. Let's see, Lushy's uh, got eight. one more counter pick. Well, look at a juice product for kids. Yeah. You know, it it kind of does. I never really. I don't know. You, you'd have to ask Plushy, because I don't know what's going up with the skin. What's going on with it, rather. It's really weird. Look, I'm going super deep for this. And then just missing all of her landing aerials. Oh no. Insane Ooh. commitment. He's off big time from taking the lead. Plus, she gotta figure out a way to kill her fast. It's even. Is my air still Eliana? Uh, no. Right. A double nair. Yeah, that's just kind of the Eliana experience. Um, plus, she is really having a hard time, like, winning neutral right now. Yeah. And you can kind of tell, like, when you can't beat Eliana at neutral, which is where she's, like, kind of at her weakest. Yeah. We've really got a problem. Okay, these... Really, 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 really nice, like, uh, edge guarding here. Oh! Yeah. Oh, the... Uh, air dodge. Bebop in there. Yeah. I really like these, like, short neutral beats. 
It's kind of like repositioning themselves slightly, but never really committing to it super hard. There's a neutral be off screen there, actually. Yeah. Notice the, the long fall there. Oh, tries for the double down B. Good DI to not be able to get hit by the second one, because sometimes you do just get hit by like double side B, even on like seemingly good DI. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, you're dead. <clears throat> There's nothing you can do there. Pretty much, yeah. That was just a, a GG's situation. Um, moves on.